we're back hey guys welcome back to a new vlog um we're officially studying for the bar so i've been at studying for a little while now i wanted to wait to start vlogging just to like build some routines i didn't really build any successful routines but hey it's the thought that counts uh, my studying's been really haphazard and i'm still in the phase where i have to watch lectures which is my least favorite part of studying for anything because it's like sitting in class basically um, and I can't listen to music, I can't sort of veer off and study how I want to because I need to get the material somewhere first. So I have many more lectures to sit through and I'm making long form outlines as I watch the lectures. And then um, my plan I think is to print them all out and just like start to build folders for each subject and go from there but I'm still working through the lectures. Um, I've started to like condense those a little at night. Sometimes I'll just write out like a condensed version of the outline by hand, which is something I've done for a long time if you've watched my vlogs. So I'm starting to kind of learn as I go, like not just watch the lectures and make these outlines, but also start to learn them. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna take you along. Um, I'm using Barbary as my bar prep company. Um, I am sticking to their schedule for the most part. For the most part, at least for now, I will probably completely veer off once I have more of the information because I know how I learn and it might not match up with exactly how they've crafted this whole course to go. It is January 11th and the bar is on February 22nd and 23rd. So yeah, that's how it's been going. I'm not having fun, um, but I'm also not completely discouraged quite yet. I don't think I'm far enough in to get totally discouraged, but it is a lot of information. Yesterday and the day before, I watched seven and a half hours of property lectures, and I think I would say property is at least the most voluminous subject on the bar. I think it's probably the hardest too, just because it's a memorization test, so the more material, the harder to memorize it all. And those lectures were just, oh my God, they were absolutely brutal, like seven and a half hours of property, just awful. Anyways, I've already done one lecture today. I did a criminal law lecture. And like Barbary has me doing like some property questions and stuff, which I might look at, but I kind of just want to keep going. So I think I'm just going to do the next lecture now, which is criminal procedure. Something I want to get better at as I study, I'll probably do like a good mix of studying at my apartment, at coffee shops, libraries, etc. I would love, despite that, to get a little bit better at keeping my apartment clean as I move through all of this because it is not looking great. Um, but this is all a work in progress, and that is the least of my worries, to be honest. So, let's get to Crim Pro. This man never moves since we cornered. Suspecting him to be a drug dealer, please approach him and say, we'd like to ask him a few questions. Under these facts, the Supreme Court said in dicta that getting very close to meeting... So it's later now and I'm heading to go teach ballet. I realized I never gave like an introduction here. So if you're new, hey, I'm Jen. Um, I graduated from law school in May. Was gonna take the bar in July, um, but right as I started studying, my mom's battle with cancer actually came to an end and she ended up passing away. So I moved my bar to February, did not take the July bar. I was still able to start work at the firm that had already made me an offer, so I started work last September, worked through the end of the year, and now I'm on a leave of absence to study for the bar and then take it in February and then I'll go back to working for that firm. So that's sort of like my setup. It's not exactly traditional, but everyone was very accommodating given the circumstances. So not exactly the traditional post law school route, but life happens. So that's why I'm taking the bar in February and why I'm not working right now. Um, but I do still get to go back to my job after I take the bar, which is really cool. So I'm headed over to the studio now teach for a few hours and then I'm gonna take this evening off I'm trying to alternate I usually have an appointment in the evenings like a workout or teaching or something and I'm trying to sort of alternate nights where I continue studying after whatever that is so that some nights I just have off to chill and I'm gonna make tonight one of those nights
Hi guys, good afternoon, but I haven't talked to you today, so. Um, it's the next day now. Um, I filmed a little this morning, I just studied in my bed all morning, and then I like washed my face, got ready a little bit, and now I'm gonna move to my counter. <laughs> so, big move going on. Um, I finished a lecture this morning, did a bunch of practice questions, and now I am on to my next lecture, which is civil procedure. So, and then there's two of those, and this will be my first one, so. I'm trying to just go through these as fast as I can. I can't wait to be out of the lecture stage of studying, but for now we're still in it. So, so that's today's plan. I'm gonna get through at least one of these lectures. That might be all I do the rest of today. Maybe I'll handwrite some stuff tonight. Probably will. But that's all. So off we go. Uh, I'm just not in the mood today. Not that I'm ever in the mood to learn civil procedure, but although on the plus side, I did take Civ Pro Two my last semester of law school, which was a while ago now, but. I had a great professor for it, so at least hopefully some of that stuff is just like kind of in my brain. I don't know if that's true, I'm just hoping. I had that same professor for criminal procedure, and I watched that lecture yesterday, and I remembered so much of that stuff, and I was so grateful because the bar is ultimately just a test of memorization, so if any of it's already even kind of in my head, that helps me so much. So I had the same professor for Civ Pro 1 and Civ Pro 2. Granted, I had her for Civ Pro 1 as a 1L, first semester 1L, so I don't think I'll remember too much of that. But hopefully maybe the Civ Pro 2 stuff will be a little more fresh. Um, yeah, she was a fabulous professor. I took many of her classes at ASU. So, that's that. Oh, you guys, we're not going to get through this one today. It's three hours and 45 minutes long. No way. I didn't even look at the time. How long is the second one? Four hours? I thought property was bad. It was seven and a half. Okay, well, that changed things a little. I didn't know this was a four-hour lecture. My nose is running so bad. I was sick last week. I'm feeling much better now, but the only thing that's lingered is just like some congestion and a runny nose, and it will not let up. I'm almost out of tissues. All right, I think that's all the things I can talk about to procrastinate watching this lecture. I'm going to get to it. I'll talk to you guys in a little. I did get this new candle. I spent so much more than you should ever spend on the candle for it, but it smells really good, so. Everyone raves about the perfume, but I have enough good perfume. I don't really need another good one. I have so many I love. I wanted a nice candle, so I bought it for myself. Which is a weird choice, considering I'm not getting paid for two months, but hey. The things we do to make bar prep a little more enjoyable. Okay, I'm done, I swear, I'm studying now. Bye, guys. The big question. I'm watching this lecture on two times speed because I think I can, but now I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I just got a little confused on this one thing, but I don't want to slow him down because we're like cruising through this. I needed a break. It's like 4.40, so I came outside because it's so beautiful out and I'm just like sitting and enjoying some fresh air. Um, so, I think I was saying earlier in this vlog how like I had a great Civ Pro professor in law school and I'm going through this lecture and there's some topics that are a little more confusing, like for example supplemental jurisdiction is like, um, I don't know, it's just like a little confusing what you can add in and what you can't. And I am like going through this lecture and I think I'm just going to use my notes from 3L year to learn this stuff 
because I remember getting it pretty well when I was in law school and I'm not getting it with the way this professor is going about teaching it. So I don't know, like part of me feels a little weird straying from Barbary study approach, but I, the material's the material, so if there's a better way for me personally to learn it, then why shouldn't I do that? So I think I'm gonna dive into my law school folder on my laptop and pull up some of my old notes. And this is only for certain concepts. A lot of the stuff that this professor's been teaching for Civ Pro is totally understandable, but for whatever reason, like a couple of these concepts are just not making as much sense to me as I remember them once making. Supplemental jurisdiction's just a bitch though, it always has been. I learned it as a 1L, it was hard, forgot it. Learned it again as a 3L when I took Civ Pro 2 because we reviewed it and like expanded on it a little more. It was hard, I've since forgotten it. So <laughs> I need to learn it one more time, I don't know. Civ Pro is a little bit of an easier subject for me because I work in a litigation firm. So I, I deal with a lot of these concepts every day or at least I have been for the last few months. So at least like, just gives you some background knowledge, I find. Um, I have a workout with my trainer at 5.30 and it's 4.45. So I'm gonna sit here for like a little while longer. I'll do a little more studying, I'll get ready, and then we'll go to the gym. It's so crazy that for the next six weeks, this is like my whole life. Like this is gonna be every day. Fun. We're heading to the gym. I actually, after I vlogged last, um, the way the Barbary instructor was teaching supplemental dosh. <laughs> after I last vlogged, the way the Barbary instructor was teaching supplemental jurisdiction started to make more sense, so I may just stick with his version, but. Um, it's less detailed than what I learned in law school, so I'm wondering to what extent the bar tests that material. Anyways, I'm finding that the subjects for this bar exam fall into one of three categories. One category, I remember a decent chunk from law school. That's like Civ Pro, criminal procedure. It's pretty much it. Uh, maybe torts, I don't know, I haven't gotten to that yet. Eh, probably not that much that I remember. <laughs> um, second category is, I don't remember it from law school, but it's pretty simple to understand and I just need to memorize it, but it's pretty like straightforward. I would put criminal law in that category. I would put contracts in that category, kinda. Kinda. Um, I would put con law in that category. I'd put evidence in that category. Then there are subjects that are just, I don't remember them from law school and they're so confusing and that is definitely property. Kind of contracts too, but property is like throwing me. So I should probably focus most of my energy on that, but I don't want to. I want to stick with the easy subjects or the ones I already know pretty well. So I don't know, you guys, we'll see. Oh, hey guys, training's done. Um, it was leg day, that was awful. <laughs> Awful, oh my god. And my hands have rips. I don't know if you can see them. I don't like lift a lot, so this is all new to me. And my hands ripped from holding like a trap bar. I also have really sweaty hands, so that like makes it harder because they're always slipping and whatever. This is way too much information. <laughs> um, okay. That was so hard, my legs feel awful. I am going to, I might stop at Trader Joe's because it's in the center and just get something for dinner. I don't really know what though. And then I'm gonna head home and move on with my evening. My legs feel like jello. My whole body feels like jello. Okay, it's later now, it's like 9.50, and I am handwriting some of property, not nearly all of it, but at least some of it, starting to get some of the simpler concepts into my brain so that at least those will sort of be like locked away and I can focus my 
energy on the more complicated concepts as opposed to just assuming all of property is complicated. So at least I'm trying to like write down the stuff that is pretty simple like present estates and that's about it. <laughs> um, and I don't know if I'll use this handwritten stuff too much, but it's the act of writing it that I think helps solidify it into my brain. So I'm just doing this. I'm watching old episodes of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills just to like keep me company while I do it. Um, I poured a glass of wine. I also made my favorite drink that I've been making. You can't see it, obviously, but um, I take a wild berry noon tablet and then squeeze half a lemon in it, and it is my favorite drink right now. It tastes like a raspberry lemonade or something, but in a much better way. Hey guys, happy Thursday. It's like 11.30 and I'm heading to a coffee shop to meet a friend. I, um, I studied for a bit this morning. Now I'm just going for a change of scenery. And then I have a nail appointment because I have to get these acrylics off. I cannot type with them. I normally like to keep acrylics on because I have a really bad habit of picking at my face, but I can't type fast with them on. So I'm just gonna get them taken off and then keep studying once I get home. My nail appointment's at 3.30, so I'll go for like four hours to the coffee shop, and then I'll go to the nail salon. Good morning vlog. Well, it's late morning now. Um, it is Monday, Martin Luther King Day. I don't know what day that actually is. But um, I'm taking the morning off studying today. I studied all day yesterday and I'm taking the morning off to clean up my space because it is a total mess and it's been really affecting like the way I feel and I just don't feel like, I don't know. I'm just, I've kind of been in like a little bit of a rut over the last like week, I would say, just from studying life, everything, and my space definitely reflects that. So we're getting out of that rut today. So I already have done like dishes, I did everything I need to do there. I vacuumed and I cleaned my bathroom and now we're on to the bedroom. I didn't film any of that stuff because I was still like waking up, but um, there's just mounds of clothes everywhere. My bed is just a disaster. Um, so I'm gonna take care of all of this and then we'll study this afternoon.
Okay, I'm already feeling a lot better. That really helped. I'm like sweating a little because it was kind of a lot of work, but um, I'm feeling a lot better. The floor is clean. I changed my sheets. The bed is made. I cleaned off both bedside tables, which I'm happy about. I still need to unpack this bag from a trip I took like weeks ago, but we'll get there. And now I'm gonna get to studying, but I figured I would give you guys like a study update because I didn't really vlog this weekend. I filmed a little yesterday, but I'll just show you what I was up to this weekend. Okay, so I make long, here, I'll show you on my laptop too. Okay, so as I go through the lectures, I make long outlines. So for example, this one was property and it ended up being 31 pages. Then whenever I'm done with those and I feel like it, I write them by hand just because it starts to get the information in my head. So this is property by hand and it's a little condensed. Like I didn't write down everything I typed, but I wrote down most of it to be honest. Like it's really not that much shorter and it was 10 pages front and back just on printer paper. So that's that. And I'm doing that for every subject. So this is evidence by hand. This one I actually wrote last summer um, when I started studying then before I ended up deferring. So that's old and I need to review it. But anyways, that's property. And then this is contracts over here. So then, here you can see here, I did my first condensed property outline. So I started to just type it again, but really only typing the major concepts and leaving out anything that I'm starting to like know, which surprisingly, the more you write it by hand and the more you type it out, the more you realize like, oh, I know this. Like just repetition, right? So this one ended up being 12 pages, which is obviously way shorter than 31. So that was good. So this um, was 12 pages and I typed all of this out yesterday evening. That's what I was working on when I filmed. So that's where I'm at with studying. This is like my method. This isn't like a Barbary thing. This isn't, I don't know. This is just how, if you guys have watched my vlogs, this is like kind of how I've studied for exams all through law school. The bar exam is way different because the volume of material is so much greater, but I'm still the same person and I know how I learn. So that's kind of why I'm just sticking to the script. Writing by hand is my absolute favorite tool for memorization. I think it gets it in your head so much better than typing. So, um, so yeah, of the outlines I have done, the long ones, I still need to handwrite criminal law, crim pro, civ pro, con law. And then the other subjects I haven't even watched the lectures for yet. So I believe today we start torts. So I'm gonna watch the first torts lecture today. I think it's like four hours, so hopefully I get through a lot of it. If not, it's okay, I'll continue tomorrow. But, um, but I've already watched those subjects I just listed. I just need to write them by hand and then we'll go from there. So I guess my plan for today is gonna be like start the torts lecture and then if I need a break, I'll just start writing one of those subjects by hand. And then mixing in practice questions along the way, but to be honest with you, like practice questions when all you've done is watch a four hour lecture, really I don't find them that helpful. You don't know anything yet. And so like, yeah, you could go look through your outline and try to reason through it, but I, I don't know, for me that just doesn't help that much. So I'm doing some practice questions as Barbara wants me to, but I really don't find them that helpful. Half of them I'm either just guessing or like digging through my outline and it takes me so long. I don't know. I would rather do practice questions once I have like a better grasp of the material so I can start to work on like, so I can start to fine tune like my timing and my approach without just like thinking of the concepts as brand new. I don't know if this is making any sense, but it makes sense in my head. So I'm trying to do practice questions when Barbara wants me to, but I'm this early in the game, I'm really not finding them that helpful, but I'll keep you posted. So I'm gonna get to work now. Hey guys, it's later now, it's almost 5.30 and I just got to a session with my personal trainer but I'm a little early so I just figured I'd pop in. I'm gonna end this vlog off here and then I'll just pick up a new one either tonight or tomorrow morning but I'm gonna keep vlogging all of my bar prep but I think I have enough for this one and I wanna get it up tomorrow morning so I'll edit it tonight. Thank you so much for watching, feels great to be back, feels great to be, um, I mean it doesn't feel great to be like studying for the bar but vlogging helps motivate me and just like sharing my study progress helps hold me accountable so 
I'm grateful for that, grateful for you guys always, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you at my next vlog. Bye guys.